uh, 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 Solomon seen Ariah in a dream. This what you this what you call a cult, and this what people that they go they go probably some disagree with him, but a lot of y'all still call that man priest. Priest. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Let me let me tell y'all what's going on. The Most High given him Jesus Christ, given him the wisdom that sits by his throne to identify who the children of God are. In order for Solomon to say this, who fulfilled that prophecy? Who fulfilled it? Who fulfilled it? Who fulfilled it? Who fulfilled it? All the people in the book fulfilled it and being fulfilled. It's not all, everything is still happening. Okay? People all over the world have been knowing they Israel way before America was even in existence. This is what you call brainwashing. Let's finish it up. This is what you call brainwashing. Let's finish it up. The one that came before Ariel, which was Bibbins, he knew that they were, he knew that, according to Abu Zayar, he can tell you the story. He knew that they were the Israelites, that the black people... Now, I'm not going to take that from him, because he did. He did know. He learned it, right? And he taught it. He did know. He learned it, right? And he taught it. But I'm not going to say that came from Solomon. Right? And he gave it to priest over y'all. No. Oh. Ain't nothing a mistake. Y'all think this man is a mistake? Y'all think this school is a mistake? He said, do y'all think this man is a mistake? Acts 5 and 29 says, we ought to obey God rather than men. Don't put your trust in man. Don't put your trust in man. Don't put your trust in man. Every so-called black and Hispanic put their job today. Don't put your trust in man. Don't you know it's the more historical facts and artifacts found on this side of the world of ancient Hebrew writing by natives and anywhere in the world? Of ancient Hebrew writing by natives and anywhere in the world? Of ancient Hebrew writing by natives and anywhere in the world? Of ancient Hebrew writing by natives and anywhere in the world? Don't put your trust in man. Didn't a white man lead us into slavery? Did he lead a dead man in any slavery? Didn't he lead a so-called Taino in any into slavery? Don't put your trust in man. I mean, I'm, I'm interacting with, you know, people from Guatemala and El Salvador, and I'm thinking to myself, how could these people be Israel? They don't fit any of the curses. Right. Didn't a white man lead us into slavery? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace to the elect, which means peace to the elect that is scattered abroad. Okay, um. I want to do a response video off of the Elder Quanoth, you know, Elder Quanoth. Okay, he titled the video, Arya tells the camps, um, the camps, the chart, chart not right. <laughs> you know, now if he put all, all that energy into um, teaching, you know, the right way or just teaching in general, Maybe he would move a little bit further in this so-called ministry. Okay, I mean, you know, you convert over. If I did a video saying that all the Israelites were Negro, then I would have thousands and thousands of views and everybody would subscribe to it. Everybody subscribes to uh, controversy anyway. Okay, anyway. You know, um, this guy, you know, this guy is um, a phony. You know, what he did is he slithered his way into the truth. He got a little fan base. He got some excitement, you know, under other Israelite groups. 
to capture a particular name for himself. But somehow this guy, this elder, somehow he's allowed to change his doctrine. He's allowed to quit going out and, and teaching the natives, uh, Native Americans or Israelites. He's allowed to change up the doctrine. And he says, don't trust in man. Right? This is what he says. He's allowed to do this. But when we come into the truth and we see the doctrine evolves and, and changes somewhat, then we're wrong. Because they were teaching so-called Negroes back in the day. I'm not sure too much on it. But Apostle Tahar, I'll say himself, he came in and uh, the Spirit worked with him to evolve in the truth, you know, like Cornelius being an Israelite, you know. Israelites are going to look like different nations. Certain things that, from I remember um, coming in, in the truth some years back, that evolved, okay. But he's allowed to change the doctrine. He's allowed to grow in his faith. But we're not allowed to grow in our faith. You know, you, you see the hypocrisy? He said, don't trust in man. But he, he wants everybody to trust in him. You know? They think the truth stay the same. You know? But didn't they believe in the 12 tribes chart? You know? So now all blacks are Israelites. <laughs> they all Negro. They all got uh, melanin. This is what these guys teach us. Anyway, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to go into the point that proves that it, this is a danger to uh, change up the 12 tribes chart doctrine. Or, or why it's so dangerous to throw the, uh, the 12 tribes chart out. But Vol Vocab want us to drop the 12 tribes chart even. So here we got Vocab and here we got the black conscious Israelites. Who tells us the, tr the chart is wrong. But meanwhile. Vocab gets to push his rhetoric. And keep doing what he's doing. These guys are supposed to be in defense. Of at least the Bible. Or being an Israelite. But they will side with vocab on that. Anyway let's get the comment. The dangers. This is the dangers. Okay. This is on the same video. It's called Chosen. Ju. Ju. Judaeus, I think that's. Let me see. Chosen Ju Judaeus. That's what she said. Chosen. You know, that's the arrogance. She's chosen. Okay. Yaal Asantawa. The Black Mulan. Okay. All those names. Anyway, she says. Levi is not one of the 12 tribes to receive an inheritance. You see how weird and sick these doctrines become? Now somebody will read that and they'll take that and they'll move on with it and they'll create a doctrine. She just gave an idea for a whole new doctrine. That's, <laughs> that's what she says. Anyway, this is Meet Hoover. He said, so if he's risen up by Caesar Borgias and all these other things were wrong then, why would we listen any further? And that's a good question. So if Abba Bivens came and I, from what I told, I don't know, I know the apostles may know a little more than I do on that, that um, Abba Bivens, the ones, ones that supposedly had the idea of the chart and then uh, high priest Arya got the, 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 the chart you know let me speak on a few words on the chart thing you know what I'm saying so if you don't want to believe in the chart and you believe you're an Israelite and you know the 12 tribes uh, uh, Israel and the Israelites then that's what you do but we'll say that the reason why Fopi wants to throw out the chart is because they don't want to link the Native Americans in there now, if they had any kind of spirituality and they still believe what they believe, they would still subscribe to the chart. And in, the, in their mind, they say the Native Americans are Negroid looking. So the Negroid looking um, are people in uh, El Salvador or uh, Mexico, then they would still be Israelites. And that's what they say. But I don't see the harm in the chart. 
I don't see the harm in what is uh, causing anyone, okay, because it's an identification of who we are and where we come from, okay, and it's a spiritual thing. So, a lot of people are saying that this was made up, it was a hoax, it was to get people going. I don't know why anybody would make a hoax um, out of something with dealing with nationalities when it's really just been simple just to say um, you Negroes and Latinos, Native Americans are Israelites, so that would still be the chart, you know? So, I've known in the past, you know, I've went into trying to bake something and I put something in the, the in, uh, ingredient in there differently than I would normally do and it would turn out still okay. So, um, a lot of times, if, if if that's what these people are saying, it's fake and it's a hoax. Well, if it was a hoax and a hook, isn't it possible? Well, we know that the Most High still pushed it, even if they didn't even believe it. Let's say they said it was false, it was fake. We just use it to hook everybody. Isn't man's going still of the Lord? Anyway, let's get back to the comment. We might as well believe in everything else said in the video. If he's crazy in this video, then when he says the chart is false, guess what? He's crazy when he says that too. Okay? Repeat everything he said and teach that too. Okay? He didn't get wiser. He got worse. And then you said um, something happened, like in a bad way, from who he had used, used to be. And you said they're working with the government in the video. Okay, by because you notice their flag, right? Because he said something about the flag, I saw that. But they're speaking the truth still? So he says Abba Bivens, the one that came, Abba Bivens, the one that came, he spoke truth. But yet somehow they got the government flag, you know? And, th and this is, I see the point that this person is making in the comments. If you say Abba Bivens wrong, if you say uh, Ariala wrong, Ariyah's wrong, Salakia. Um, Hapris Ar Ariyah's wrong. If you say the apostles of Great Millstone wrong, and other elders out there teaching or anybody holding the signs wrong, then you need to cut everything that comes after that. Don't try to hold to it and say, okay, I believe this part, but that part I don't. But the Lord said he's not an author of confusion, right? But you say the name Yahweh. They kind of drop Yahweh Shah. They, they do so-called believe in the New Testament, but the New Testament really cuts them, you know. And when you read Revelation 7 chapter, it talks about the, the tribes that are going to be sealed. Well, how do we know what tribe we're in? How do we identify with a tribe? Okay. So this guy says Yahweh. Elder Kornav says Yahweh. Where'd you get that from, buddy? Okay? So if the 12 tribes chart is wrong, then saying Yahweh would obviously be wrong as well. Okay? I don't read no more of that comment. That was a real long comment. Let me get another one. Okay, it says, The Lord reveals bits and pieces to whom he will. He uses all people, even heathens. Some of, some of, uh, some of the things... They say are true and some and some false. Study thyself to see if it's true. Okay, I can respect that comment. I can respect it all the way. Some things um, was not fully understood. Now we, that's why I put the clip in there, John sixteen and twelve. I think it says. Um, I'm trying to remember. It says something about if. Um, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. And we go into the next verse. He says, um, when the spirit of truth comes in, he will guide you into all truth. So the truth moves. Okay. So we've evolved in the truth and Elder Quanaf is trying to bring you back. Okay. So let's get a, a scripture. This is Romans. Romans looks like the first chapter. Romans, the first chapter. Because 
the scriptures, the first thing came to my mind when I seen this guy bug out from the beginning uh, was this scripture. Okay. Um, this is Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind. Reprobate means not stand to test. That's in uh, that's in the blue letter. When you go into the words, it means um, unfit, un unproved, not standing the test, not approved. That which does not prove itself, such as it ought. Okay, he came in. He was on fire. Fopey this, Fopey that, all the, you know, had a whole gathering. Now they all cut off. They went back in the world. They're probably in Christianity. They're probably in something else. He says he's not going to be out there no more. So that's probably the only thing that I would listen to him and believe that uh, he, that was the best prophecy that I think he ever foretold. It was for himself. Okay. To do those things which are not convenient, it's not convenient for this man, you know. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetous covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. This is why he always do videos on One West. He do more than damn near vocab. <laughs> Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud, boasters. Inventors of evil things. This is what this guy is. He's an inventor of of the of these wicked doctrines, man. Okay, bringing it, bringing a new invention, which other people did it before him, but he's bringing it into the truth. You know. See what happened with this guy. You know, the fame start falling off. They got themselves some wives, got a little cool. They made money. They got women. Now they need a new hook. You know, let's steal from the so-called black community. Okay, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covetous, covenant breakers, without natural affection. They don't care about the Native Americans. They don't care about their brothers. Okay, which they're not brothers to them no more. You know, implacable, unmerciful, who know in judgment of Yahweh that which commits such things are worthy of death. Okay, I don't got to say any more. Um, I just wanted to do a quick response and just show you how dangerous, you know, drop why the twelve dropping the twelve tribes chart would be dangerous because the Most High is the one that set everything up, and they should know that. And now that it's dropped, I mean, now that they dropped it, now they have all other kind of doctrines flowing in with it. People are coming on the comment board saying the Levites are not one of the tribes now. I mean, just all kinds of crazy, sick doctrines. You know? That's all I have on that. Shalom.